Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're gonna make an awesome print in place project. Start by hitting create 3D design. It is going to print in place, and we're gonna call this one the fish clip. Once you've got the technique down, though, you can make it into whatever you want. So real quickly, this is going to be our fish clip. It is totally made in Tinkercad. Let me show you how to build it. We're going to start by bringing out a tube. When it comes out, we want to change the parameters. We want a radius of 9. We want a wall thickness of 1.2. We want the sides to be fully maximized to 64. You can see we just made this shape, and now we need to cut the back out of it. We're going to do that with a hole. We're going to make a quick mod to this. I want you to click on this side and I want you to make it 12 and press enter. Select the two of them. Do L for a line. Make the orange one the boss and we want it to be centered. And then we're simply going to nudge it in so that it's ready to cut just like that. Select the two. Do control G and then make that into a hole. Now we can make the body of the fish by bringing out a cylinder. Of course, maximize its sides. For our starter project, we're going to simply make this 28 this way, and we're going to make it 32 this way. Just makes it a bit of an oval. I do also want you to set the height. I'm going to show you this from a corner to 6 millimeters. This makes the project print super fast, which is great for classroom use. To make this even quicker, we are going to build the tail of our fish with the heart. Bring it in, rotate it 90 degrees, and just like last time, set it to size 6. We also need to cut out a cylinder and a rectangle. Let's bring those out. I'm going to tell you the rectangle needs to be 9 millimeters. We can adjust its length as needed. And we're going to cut the inside of this with a cylinder. Simply set the cylinder in the middle. Make sure you maximize its sides. Of course, it needs to be a hole. And then we're going to shift shrink and type the number 10. I got lucky and got to 10 in just one swipe. I'm going to get these all close to each other so I can select them all, do L for a line, and I want them to all be to the center. Now we're going to nudge them into place. This one just needs to be in the back half. This one just needs to cut into it at about that edge. The center hole needs to be in the center-ish. We're gonna check it by switching to flat view and going to the top view. And then if we press F to fit view, it zooms in, we can double check it. So I'm gonna back it up one click. Now that looks the same on every side. I'm gonna nudge this one in so it connects. And then finally, we're gonna use the arrow key to bring the tail into place. I think that's a good looking fishtail. I am going to make it a little bit smaller, so I'm going to shift scale it. Once again, I do need to align those, so let's select them all, do L for align, make the orange one the boss, and we want the center. Now I don't want this to cut square. I want it to be a little bit more fancy, so we're going to bring out a nether hole cylinder, maximize the sides. I'm going to make it some sort of oval. And I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to shift shrink it till I'm happy. I think that's pretty nifty. And I do want to make sure it goes almost to the end of that heart. Once again, let's select everything and do L for align. And make sure they're all lined up just like that. Friends, there's your fish. Now we need an eyeball. Let's bring it out. Once again, make sure it's a hole. Maximize the sides. Let's change this to size 3. Notice I am just moving it till it shows up. You could also type the number. I'm going to put it where it goes, but notice it's also too short. If I make it size 6, that'll be perfect for cutting out the eye. And next up, we're going to make a mouth. Friends, we are going to do that with Scribble. Bring a chunk of Scribble out and set it on the work. Friends, we are going to use these corners to build our mouth. So I'm going to go all the way to the left, and I'm going all the way up. And down and if I ever don't like it I can just hit clear so I'm trying to hit these points just like this 
and I want more teeth than I need. I'm just going as far as I can. If you ever make a mistake, once again, you can simply clear and try again. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but the better you make it, the cooler it ends up looking. And I'm going to go down one more time. With that done, friends, I'm going to hit done. Now notice those teeth are huge. That actually ends up being awesome. Check this out. We're going to make it a hole. And when we squeeze this, I'm going to shift squeeze. It makes those lines thinner, which is great for making teeth. Of course, we do need to make it more than six so that it'll cut in. If I do F for fit view, now I can squish it until it looks exactly the way I want. I'm going to switch to that top view again. Let's do F to fit view. Notice this comes inside here and out, and that tooth ends sharp. We like that. Notice this would be a weird gap if it cut right there. So I can just pull that out so it cuts the way I want. Friends, just like that, you've built your project. Control G to group. As we look at it from an angle, what's going to happen is when we squeeze this, the jaw is going to open. That is cut all the way through. We do have one glitch. Notice the heart was not six anymore. Double click it to edit it. I can change it to six and press enter. This pink shows that we were editing. So now when I click out here, there is the finished fish clip. If you've got a 3D printer, you can simply hit export and save it as an STL. I've been having a blast making these, so I'm going to call this Fish Clip 3. Of course, if you make your own, I would love to see what you create. Don't forget, friends, it is super simple to publish your design so the whole world can see it. Step one in my book is always to get a cooler background. I'm going to go today with a blue I'm also going to shut off the grid. Notice now it looks like the fish is swimming. And then we can simply return to the Tinkercad desktop. Click on our design. Choose properties. Of course, make sure you name it. Fill in your description. Mine mentions the tutorial is coming soon. Of course, give it some tags. Don't forget if you ever add the tag HLMT23. I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public. Prove you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives. Because instead of copying my work, I'd rather have you follow the tutorial and gain some epic skills. Lastly, hit save changes. And after about 20 minutes, friends, we have got a sweet... 3D printed fish clip. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. And then below that, you can find my day one favorites and also useful starters. And then finally, the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, also at the bottom corner, I want to share the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, don't forget the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day